Hey up everybody, Yorks Fab Shop here again. So today's a nice quick one, we've got a little bit of TIG welding today for a friend who wants some strength and gussets and bits and pieces welding onto one of his vehicle subframes. I think it's off a of BMW, I'm not quite sure, but he's basically said, here you go, can you stick these on there for me? So that's what we're going to do, we're going to drag the TIG welder out today. We're going to do a little bit of TIG welding and hopefully we'll do a nice job of it, because it's all quite thin stuff, but being BMW, they like to build things slightly thicker than they probably needed to, so... We've got some nice material to work with. So sit back, enjoy. Just drag it in quickly so we can see what we're doing. So nicely and very thankfully what he's gone and done is grit blasted all the areas that we need to weld. So they're all nice and clean. There's no paint, there's no contamination. We're all good to go. There's no prep work really for me to do it all there. Might be a little bit on the plates, which are here. So there's three to do in total. There's that one that's going to stick on there, so that's going to be a full run round. Line them up with the holes. There's this little one that's going to sit around that mounting point. So we'll put a nice run round the edge. Probably one around the middle. We'll see how it welds because obviously there's already a weld there. So it might be a bit iffy to weld round there, but we'll see. And then there's this piece that's on the other side of the subframe that we'll see very shortly. Welder of choice today then, is my little Jasic 200 ACDC tech. Got a little welder of this, I've had it a few years now, it's not got a whole lot of use. But for stuff like this, it's absolutely ideal, so it's nice and portable, it's small. Lives in a nice little jacket, so that hopefully it doesn't get damaged by the cold and damp. Probably running about 110, 120 amps, we'll see how we get on, because this stuff is about 3 millimeters. The subframe is probably about two. So we don't want to be too hot, but we want to be hot enough that we can run quickly and try not to put too much heat into either components. So we'll get this plugged in, set up, and we'll start prepping to weld. Just a nice sheaf F clamp to hold that on. Get a couple of tacks on there. Obviously we'll be able to take that off then. Set up for the next one, take it off, set up for the third one. And then we'll just weld around them all in one go, so we're not faffing about. Welding wire of choice today, we've got some ER70S2, 1.6mm diameter. Nice and thin, easy to work with, especially on this thinner stuff. We'll not be going any thicker because we'll be concerned about cooling the puddle too much and it'll be not very fluid and difficult to work with. We want to be working quite quickly on this stuff because it's thin. So we'll put a quick tack probably on this side, pull around there, and then we'll be good to go for the next one. A couple of nice clean tacks on there, so that's good. We can take that clamp off and move on to the next one. A little bit of remedial work to do because there's a bit of a blob of weld on there, so nothing. Right, it's not a very good fit this. So Obviously we've got a bit of a gap here, which is not very good, but we should be able to fill most of that. problem we've got is this doesn't follow the same profile. We've got a big gap under here. What I'll do is I'll put a tack on the back of here, and then we should be able to not beat this, but we should be able to pull it down and close that gap up a little bit. The contamination there as well, it's just dirty my tongue stump, you can see the soot as well that's come off. And that's not been cleaned particularly well, but a good run on there will be no concern. A 
There's a bit better now, let's close that up. Put a little tack here somewhere. Yep, that'll do. Right then, that's that all welded up now. Admittedly, it's not some of my best welding, but on the thin stuff, TIG is always difficult. MIG would have been a neater job, but uh, with it being obviously so thin and you want to guarantee penetration, and obviously for somebody else, thought TIG were the way to go. Good, strong welds. There's going to be no issues with failure in this going forward, so pretty happy with that. Hopefully, you'll be happy. But there you go, quick one today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.